When you already wear diapers or pull-ups to bed, but you're still waking up to a wet bed pretty regularly, this is one sign you need to consider wearing a thicker diaper. Whether we like it or not, the thickness of our product is a direct indication of how much it can possibly contain. I know of no way to absorb fluid and contain it without some level of additional material. A diaper's absorbing capacity is directly related to the amount of material it has in weight. How much weight it absorbs in urine increases with the amount of weight of absorbent polymers that it contains. Another potential sign that you should be considering wearing thicker diapers is if you experience large bladder voids at a high volume that demand a rapid rate of absorption. When you experience large bladder voids that come out at a high velocity, it can be tough for some of the thinner diapers to keep up. These types of products are not really designed for these kinds of larger voids. Journey a pull-up or a thinner type of tape-up diaper are only designed for minor to light form of incontinence issue. I've heard some manufacturers go about testing their products by dipping it into a vat of saline water to measure how much it can possibly absorb. If this is true and this is how they really go about testing these products, this gives them a ridiculously inaccurate perception of their own product's performance. Judging from my personal experience with such products and the reported experience that you all tell me you have with these types of products, it sounds to me like many of these companies have no clue what's good for the customers they supposedly care about serving. This can lead to many of us going through the necessary expense of trying a lot of different products and experiencing a lot of different leaks along the way. Which leads me to the next major sign you should be wearing a thicker diaper. And that's if you're wearing a product that's constantly leaking and you're always worried about if a leak is happening or will occur. As a result of this inadequate selection found on store shelves, many of us are left dealing with a lot of leaks at first. In many cases, this is because we're too broke to afford anything else. It is unfortunate that the most affordable and readily accessible products that people will come across are possibly some of the worst available today for anything more than light forms of incontinence. A good quality absorbent diaper gets price gouged in a lot of places, especially since most of those products that meet this criteria are geared towards a more niche segment of the market and are the types of products that aren't covered by healthcare providers. Another sign you might want to consider wearing a thicker diaper is if you're going out to some sort of event or group gathering where you're not sure when and where you might be able to change. As you normally prefer wearing a thinner type of product because that's what you're most comfortable in and you typically manage fine with it, it may sometimes be worth considering wearing a more absorbent diaper out of caution. Occasionally, we might find ourselves in a situation where we're going on a group outing, going to an event, or just in general going to be somewhere that may not have immediate access to somewhere where we can change. Perhaps we're going somewhere where we just don't want to have to change while we're at this event or around this particular group of people. Wearing an extra thick diaper to increase absorbency can be a great tactic to deploy. Another sign you might want to consider wearing a thicker diaper is if you find yourself having to stop what you're doing to change every hour or every other hour. As stated earlier, many of the products you find most readily available in local stores on store shelves will generally only last about an hour or two depending on the severity of your situation. Full-on bladder voids will fill up these types of products rather quickly. In these cases, it can be quite time consuming as well as an inconvenience to have to constantly stop and change. It doesn't really matter what kind of work you do for a living, it's not really an optimal place to be to have to stop every hour or two and go change your diaper. If you do any type of intellectual or creative work that demands you get into a flow state of mind, yet get interrupted constantly for having to stop and go change, it can be a challenge to get back into that frame of mind. And when I talk about flow states, I'm not talking about what's happening in your diapers here. In these situations, when you're doing creative work like this, wearing a thicker diaper can help prevent unwanted interruption. I, for one, don't want to be interrupted every hour or two to have to stop and go change, but that's just me. Another sign you may want to consider wearing a thicker diaper is if you have recently made any kind of dietary change, or you might be taking a new medication that is a diuretic. Certain types of dietary changes and medications that we take can cause an increased output from our body. There are a lot of different types of medical conditions and factors that can drive someone into needing to wear diapers. Whatever the case is, when we change the things that go into our body, we change the things that come out of them too. In these situations and circumstances, it may be advisable to consider wearing a thicker, more absorbent diaper. We often resist wearing thicker, more absorbent products even when we know that we need to, out of some sort of concern that people will notice it more. In this video right here are three strategies that anyone can deploy when seeking to dress in a way that hides the fact that they need to wear diapers. Even the thicker diapers that clearly you need to wear if you've made it this far into the video. Check out this video next so when you make the switch you can feel confident and comfortable in going about your day. Until next time, stay dry.